unboxing video for you. Um, I talked about this in my last video. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing two boxes. So it's this one and this one. These are from Japan and these are from a YouTube channel co called, I don't know if they're a YouTube channel, I don't know exactly what they are, but they're called Otaku House. I think they run a store in Japan and they have like an online store, but basically the concept is they have an online store that you can buy things from, but you can also buy live things. Like they're literally always live streaming. If you, I'll, I'll uh, post a link to their channel below, but if you follow them, they're literally like live streaming throughout the day and you can actually go on their website and purchase. It's just like, it's just like my pack openings, but you can buy things like blind boxes, gachapons, and um, a ton of different uh, Japanese lotteries called Kujis. I think that's what they're called. So I, of course, got the Kujis and a bunch of blind boxes. There's just a lot of stuff, honestly. Honestly, like, it's become an obsession and I need to stop, but I just get so excited. So. Um, we're just gonna open these up and see what we got. Um, there's a lot of Pokemon things, I'll be honest, and also um, some Rila Kuma stuff, and then also some, uh, what is it called? It's called Sumi, Sumiko Garashi, which is actually, I actually won some of those like prizes from Tereba, but I didn't really understand or know who that was. But I've been really obsessed with some of the items from that. It's like a Sanrio character or something. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this out. So um, the lottery that I've been participating in is called, well, there's two. There's the Rilakkuma, I forgot what it's called, Rilakkuma something, and then the Pokemon Summer, Sunny, Sunny Picnic, or Summer Picnic, something about a picnic. Okay, so first of all, um, let's do some of the blind boxes. Now these have already all been opened because they opened them, them up live, and I accidentally made the mistake. I actually just bought a bunch more of these ones uh, last night because I did I forgot that I had purchased a bunch. But let me show you, I won't show you all of these, um, but I'll open up one. So basically these are blind boxes and these are terrariums, and these are from the Sumi Kirigashi, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but they're just little terrariums, and I was like, oh, these would be so fun to put on my desk. So, uh, let's, when they unbox them, they basically, they don't unwrap them, they just unbox them, they look at like which one it is, because you have to put it together. Oh, I didn't realize you have to put it together. Okay, so maybe I won't do that. Like this one is him over the bridge, so it's this one. So you like set it up, and it's in this little like thing, and that's it. Although, I just realized that there's no, oh, I was going to say there's no base, but here's the base. So basically, you like build it, and then you can rest this on the base. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. Mac, what are you doing? So I'm going to open up all these at some point. Maybe I'll take a picture once I set them up, because you have to actually put them together. I didn't realize that we had to like put them together. I thought that they were already put together. I'll show you one more. This one is, I don't. No, I don't think these are glass. So, oh, oh, this is the same, is this the same one? Oh yeah, this is a duplicate. So, I don't think I realized that I got a duplicate. So I'll just, I'll just put that one back. But see, then I figured, I probably won't put these in a prize box, because I don't know if kids, maybe I will, I don't know. I don't know if kids are into these characters, because they're very Japanese, and I don't know. I don't, sometimes I just assume kids aren't into Sanrio. Anyways, I got a bunch of these. I got like six of these. I want to show you guys a different one, but I don't know how many duplicates I got. I don't remember. Oh, here's a different one. So this one is this blue one where they're like sitting on the bench together right there. Again, I have to put them together. Assembly required. They should they should put that on the box. So I really like these a lot. Oh. So you like literally take all the pieces out and you build it and then it's a terrarium. So you just, I know that these don't really do anything. So I know most people are like, what? what's the purpose of that? But I just thought that would be fun to like build and then put on my desk at work or I don't know. You guys, I love trinkets. I love little trinkets. So I got a few of those. I got a couple of these Pokemon ones. So let's, let's open up one of these and see. Maybe I'll do a full like build or something. Okay, so this one is, I don't even know what Pokemon that is, to be honest. It's that one right there. Rashawn? 
jump in here and let me know. So these are a little like blind ball. They almost look like gachapons, but they're not. They're, these are also technically, I think they call these terrariums or something, capsule terrarium. But you like put them in there and you can close the little pokeball and then they just sit flat like this. These were anywhere from around eight to ten dollars. Um, I got this, this blind box. Oh, here, I'll show you guys, sorry. I'll show you uh, the, the versions you can get since I don't I don't have all of them and I, I'm not opening them. I think I really wanted the Pikachu one, to be honest, which is what I was going for. I don't think I got it. I think the other one I got was maybe this one down here. I don't know. Again, maybe I'll do like a live stream or a separate video where I actually open all these and put them together. So the next blind box that I got are these other Pokemon ones. And these ones are these little things that you can like, if you collect them all or whatever, you can like put them together. So there's six different ones, I believe. The variety that I have here is unbelievable, you guys. Um, oh, I got a Squirtle one. So this one has Squirtle. There's Squirtle. And it's, there's a Starmie. So it's this one right here. That's the one I got. Yeah, I definitely think I might have to. Well, I guess, let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to see a video of me putting all of these ones together and not just showing you the boxes. Good one. So I got a couple more of those. I literally got the most random blind boxes and just like a couple of each one. This is another Sumi Kiragashi. Actually, I don't know if this one is. I don't actually know. But this one is a different terrarium. It's called the Everyday Terrarium. I think the other one's called like a day in Japan or something. So I got this one and they're like camping, which I don't know what it is about these, you guys. I like love these things. I don't know why. I don't know why. I really couldn't tell you. Oh yeah, Sumiko Garashi. Sumiko Garashi is what it's called. And this one I just opened is this one right here. This is the one that I wanted more of, but they only had, I think one left. So I just bought the one that they had left. So I'll have to look at potentially. I have more of the Japanese ones. So the other Pokemon one that I got was, I got a handful of these gemstone collection ones. Let's see, I don't know which one this is. What's that called? Oh, I don't even remember. Okay, I'll be honest. The one that I really wanted from this collection was, here, I'll show you. Not any of these. It was this one. Which now, of course, as we're filming, I, now I don't remember what that Pokemon's name is. But I know, Marsh, is it Marshadow? No, well, it's not Marshadow, is it? No, it's like a mischievous one. I don't know. Anyways, I liked the, I actually liked the um, gemstone, like, that it was in, to be honest. Anyways, okay. Well, I got a handful of those ones, and then I got this one Kirby one, which this is the one I was sad about, because out of all the ones that I could have gotten from this one, I literally wanted every single one of them, except for this one. And I'm pretty sure that's the one that I got. And I was, I remember when they opened it up, I was so sad, I was like, oh. Yeah, I got the one where they're looking like in a mirror or something, and it was literally the only one that I just didn't want to get. I was like, oh, my odds are pretty good. There's six different ones, and I, there's just one that I don't want, and then I got that one. That's how life works, huh? Okay, I'll move a little bit faster. Anyways, I have more of these ones. Again, I think I might just do a separate video and I'll put all these together so I can show you guys up close and personal. Maybe I'll do that for like one of the, uh, for one of the Vlogmas days. I don't know if I'm doing Vlogmas, guys. I think I'm gonna try. I still owe you guys half of Vlogmas from last year, which I filmed, I just never posted. So we'll have to see what that looks like. Okay, on to the lottery. I think the rest of these things are gonna be lottery items. So in this lottery, the, po the Pokemon one, there was A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I don't actually remember. I got two Ds, right? So this is a D, which this is a tote bag. And I got two of them, but they're the same design. So I got these little tote bags. Those are pretty cool. Those are useful, right? Like I like, I like useful things. I got, oh God. I got a bunch of towels, towels. I'm gonna say these are like face cloths. So that was F. So in the F's, I got, and they, the good thing about this lottery is that 
basically they do it live and then they show you what they have left for each letter and you get to pick you get to pick the designs. I really like that one a lot. So I think I picked, I think I got to pick double uh, at some point. So I picked a double of this one, which I really like. And then we have this one, is that the, the same? Oh, uh, that's the same as the first one I showed you. And then this one has Evie and Psyduck. And um, what's that dog's name? And then I got, they do a nice job of packing as well. These are E. So E, there's actually a lot of E's. Oh wow, they really packed this well. Um, the E's in this lottery could either be these little plates or I guess these little cups. And so I picked a mixture. Now I think these are definitely, I'm pretty sure these are gonna be plastic plates because they feel plastic. But here's the first design that I got. Oh, here's the second one, and while we were doing this, she drew a little cartoon. They Sometimes when they're waiting for orders, they draw, and she drew a little JK character because um, I had ordered, I'll show you guys, some gachapons of BTS. So here's the design on the plate, but then there's the little JK cartoon that she drew, which I think is cute. And then here's the other plate. Let's open up one of these and just see what it looks like. Based off the weight, like I said, I'm pretty sure these are plastic. Yeah, so these ones are plastic. So the other lottery that I did, the I don't know if the I don't think they had plates, but the glasses were glass. These plates are plastic, but that's still cool. I like little little plates. And then I wonder if these are glass. So then the other E's were cups. So let's open up these. So again, this was a lottery, so like when I got E's, I got cups. And usually they post a poster so you know like what the different prizes are. And they and like this, this place otaku has they also post the odds and you can ask at any time like what's left in in certain things so let me show you the designs first and i'll open up just a couple so again these were all of the um what is this e prizes so there's three plates and three cups i assume i got all of the oh i got all of the plates and i got all of the cups so let me show you each of these designs and then i'll open one of these so there's the the green and yellow designs and then I got two of this like pinkish looking one so we'll open one of these it'd be interesting to see if these are gonna be plastic or glass I think these ones feel like plastic as well because they're kind of light yeah I think this is plastic yeah it's plastic that feels like glass but it's plastic I'm not as much of a fan of the plastic ones, obviously, than when they're glass, but these are cool as well. I don't mind these. These actually feel like glass, which is interesting, but I don't mind that. I wonder if they're dishwasher safe. I hope so, because I like to wash things in the dishwasher. Okay, so again, I have, oh wait, and then the other lottery thing. Oh, I did, sorry, I can't remember what I did. I did, I guess, one of the Kirby lotteries? So they had a Kirby lottery. Don't really remember doing that, but I got D, which is this little spoon. This is definitely glass. I can feel the glassness of this. Okay, so this was some kind of Kirby lottery. And I got, oh, this is cute. I got D, and so it's this little, and this is, I don't, it's not glass, it's like ceramic, but it's a little Kirby spoon. It says Kirby on there. Oh, that's neat. I like that. I don't know if this is really a spoon that you like use for things or if this is more of like a decorative spoon, but that's cool. And then I got, these are the keychains from the lottery. So I got five G's. Again, maybe I'll open one of these and then I'll save the rest for a different video. But you basically can get this one or any of these or any of these. So let's go ahead, there's a lot of these. Wow, it would be hard to get all of these. But let's go ahead and open up one of these and see what we got. Ah, we got Bulbasaur and it says his name in Japanese, which I can't even pronounce. Fuji Gidon. Um, this keychain is a really thick rubber material. So there's that. It says Sunny Picnic on the back and then it has a little Neat. So we'll open up the rest of those too. 
And I think any extras I'll probably put into my my prize box at work. Um, but I'm excited to open those up. If we have enough time in this video, I'll open all of them. But I still have another box, like I said. Okay, I'm gonna try to go through this faster. Got the pawns. Oh. Again, some more sum sum. What is it? How do we pronounce it? Sumiko Garashi. Sumiko Garashi. These were little gachapon terrarium balls. You can't really see them. It's like them and friends. I'll save those also to put together. I got, I think, four of them in total. Oh my god, look how cute. I don't think you can see it, but they're so cute. Okay. Then these ones, um, don't make fun of me, guys. Also, while I haven't been filming, I have become obsessed with uh, BTS, Amy and I. I'm marching the concert tomorrow, which is Thursday, or no, Thursday. I, I bought the stream. Um, so these are these little keychains. Oh, keychains of, of them. They, they have these little cartoon versions of them called Tiny Tan. So you can get all of them. And I think I actually ended up getting all of them and duplicates of some. So like this one is, this is Jimin. So let me unwrap this because I'm going to end up giving this to um, Amy. Now the one thing, and she's been very clear about this, she doesn't like the Tiny Tans because it is really hard to recognize them. And I'll be honest, like I wouldn't even know that this was Jimin. Uh, actually, maybe I would know it's Jimin. Well, I don't know. It, it like kind of looks like Jimin and kind of doesn't. It should be V because look, he's got a V on his shirt. <laughs> so that's... Jimin. Oh, and his, it's like a bobblehead. Oh, how funny is that? I didn't realize. No, no, Jasper. Jasper's trying to eat Jimin. Don't eat Jimin. He's not, a, he's not a cat toy. Um, I'll open up a couple more of these. Like, this one is, I think this is, stop. I think this is Sugar. He's got a little, yeah. So this is Sugar. So V and Sugar and Jungkook, they're my favorites. I like V and Sugar the best, but I'm starting to really like Jungkook. I think he's like funny and, and cute and I like the way he sings. So like that doesn't look anything like J-Hope. Like I wouldn't know that was supposed to be J-Hope at all. Like if I didn't have a cheat sheet. This one's JK and he has like red hair. I don't know. I don't even know if any of you guys are BTS fans. You guys, I've just become like overly obsessed with BTS. Okay, this box is much lighter. So I think this one might have some plushies, and the reason I say that is because at some point there was a Rilakkuma Kuji, which I'm assuming is going to be this entire box, that they had, and I ended up buying out the rest of it because if you buy the last ticket, they always have, or they don't always have it, but they have a last prize that you can get. Oh, wait a second. This has some of my, um, this is all the plushies. Oh gosh, I got a Kirby. I don't even remember buying into the Kirby lottery, but apparently I I did because I don't know. Look at this. Okay, I'm not going to take them out, but we have this. So I clearly got the big prize in the Kirby lottery, which is cool. This is probably A. I would have to go back and watch the video. I don't remember. Um, here's all the stuff that I got in my Rilakkuma and Pikachu or Pokemon lottery. So let me open this up and show you all these goodies. So... Oh, God, you scared me. Okay, so these were the C prize in the Pokemon lottery. They're these little, like, Pokemon in pouches. So we have Pikachu, Eevee, and the dog, which I, I don't remember what the dog's name is. That's all the Pokemon ones I got. So C was C and D. Oops, I moved my camera. C and D were the biggest prizes you can get. So then the Rilakkuma one... I don't know what happened, guys. I like love these prizes. Let me just show you. So this is like an F prize. It's the little Rilakkuma duck, and he's dressed in a snowman. And then I have this other duck that's dressed in like the a hedgehog outfit. This was a an H prize. Here's another little hedgehog. I think they I, again. I think I just ended up buying them out, and I'll show you why. Here, this was a F prize. Kirillic, Kiril, there's Rilakkuma, Kirillic, I think it's like Kiril, Kirillikuma, and I forgot what the duck's name is, Kirillikuma, I don't know too much about this one, but
but I just love it. Look at this. It's the little duck Amy would though. This Amy, are you still there? No. She scared me and now she's gone. No, I can hear you. No, you're not. Are you still there? Hello? No. I'm talking to myself. I think the cats are making noises. So it's a little duck, but he's holding a ketchup bottle. Isn't that cute? Another keychain. The duck keychain was an eye prize. Here's a Rila Kuma and a reindeer. That was an F prize. Here's another duck. <laughs> I just can't. It's an E prize, and he's dressed like a bat. <laughs> you guys know I love things that are dressed like other things. Kirla Kuma clown, F prize. Oh my god, look at this one. Rila Kuma dressed as a dinosaur, E. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's cute. This is a, like a Rila Kuma with, this is a G prize with a 2020 shirt. These are more of these little eye keychains. Kirla Kuma with a hamburger. Rila Kuma with a, a banjo and a plain duck. And then we got two. These are little like Rubik's Cube, but they're keychains, which is kind of cool too, because you guys know I love me some Rubik's Cubes. I wonder if these actually work well. Okay, and then the reason I have so many of those is because there wasn't that many left, and so I bought out the lottery and ended up getting the last prize, which I will take this guy out because I think I'm definitely gonna keep him. Fluff them up a little bit like this. Oh my God, look at this. It's the duck wearing a bat costume. I don't know if it's a bat costume, but isn't that cute? That was the last prize. So again, if you buy the last ticket, you get the last prize. So I, I forgot how many were left. I just bought out the lottery because I was like, this is cute. I want this duck plushie. So there you go. You can never have too many giant plushies in your house, right? I don't know, people might disagree with that. All right guys, that's all I have for you. Sorry, that video was a little bit all over the place. I'll do another video where I open up more of these blind boxes and I'll open up like all of these keychains and stuff so you guys can see them a little bit up close and personal. I think I might make them part of my um, Vlogmas so that I have some stuff to open up for Vlogmas. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below if you wanna see more unboxing videos. Go ahead and check my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below. Has, again, has anybody ever participated in any of these Pokemon or, or any lottery, any of the Japanese lotteries. Um, check out Otaku's House's channel if you're interested in this. This one, price-wise, was a little bit, in my mind, it's a little bit better than the other video that I showed you guys with the Instagram. I think I, for each of these lottery tickets, I ended up paying about $9 instead of the $13. And then the shipping wasn't bad. Like, each of these boxes, I think, ended up costing like around $40 to ship. So it's not ter it's not the greatest, but it's not terrible, I suppose, because I think that other box in my last video was pretty expensive. Um, I don't really remember. But yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, let me know all of your thoughts down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and you're... Oh, that's... I forgot to say that last time. Don't forget, if, you sub if you're subscribed to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private you'll make it onto my oh wait i'm not gonna have my thank you to subscribers page so that's not coming up shortly and before we go we must do the video shout out Ooh, i am all over the place you guys uh let's see i'm gonna have to really revamp my channel because i'm dropping they're dropping like flies um you know what brendan i'm just gonna give you a true video shout out because out of everybody, be the one you love, Brendan. You have literally still, I can see you posting comments. I can, still, still watch, I can see you still watching my videos and you have been tweeting me on Twitter. So Brendan, thank you again for your continued support even though I haven't been active on my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, and because of that, I wanna give you the video shout out. So shout out to you, Brendan. Shout out to you. All right guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.